Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So I just finished building in the Anadis Crystal AI case. The problem with the case is, well, it doesn't have any optical base. Some of you might say, who needs opticals anymore? Well, I have kids. I buy them movies. They like to scratch them. It's fun for them. And they like to play frisbees with them. Sometimes they watch them. After a while, they can't anymore because they're all scratched up. But you may have, and I know I have, you know, various other reasons I still need a DVD drive or a Blu-ray drive. So, I don't want to throw this away. So, what I did was, I ended up buying the Nexstar DX Super Speed USB 3.0 external USB optical drive uh, enclosure. And while I'm not going to do a review on it, I have used Nexstar many times in the past. They make some good stuff. But I'm just going to show you real quick how to install this. And that way, you know, if you do end up getting one of these, now you know how to do it really quick and simple. Alright guys, so here she is again. The Nexstar DVD, I'm sorry, Nexstar DX Super Speed USB 3.0 external enclosure. Alright, just going to open it up, do a quick unboxing, and then show you guys how to install it. Use my handy dandy butter knife. And you can also use it as a purse when you're done. Just kidding. Open her up. So I'm just going to slide it out. And there is a USB 3.0 cable included. Alright, I'm just going to actually let me just open it real quick. Ah, it seems like a beefy cable. It's pretty long too. Alright, it's about maybe three feet. And the power cable, you will need to power it. And there we go. Power cable is about six feet long. Yep, six feet. They also do include an installation guide that I'm showing you guys how to install it so you don't need to use it but basically just showing you how to go over it. I actually bought this when I found that I was getting this case. So, put it to good use. And it does bring some screws. Alright, you can see four of these and two of these black ones. Alright, the two black ones are for right here. They don't come on there right now, but that's just the back of it. And the front of it. Okay, and you just slide it open. You can just lay it on its side. Slide it open. I'm going to put the front, well, just so you can see. This is aluminum. So keeps it nice and cool not that they get very hot anyway but you know all right and here is my blu-ray writer and 
reader and DVD RW and DVD reader, all that good stuff. And here is the SATA port, SATA power, SATA data. And they even got a Molex in there, but that's just to power this. All right, so simply all you do, grab it like this. And just slide it in. This little cable might get in the way like it just did for me right now. Just move it aside. Slide it in. Now before you slide it all the way back in, you're going to want to connect this guy to these two right here. Alright, just simply push it in and you're done. So now just slide it as far back as you can. You're going to notice when you slide it back, this will lay, fl lay flush, these holes will also appear. Now, that's so you can screw these guys in and I'll do that right now. Alright, just grab a screwdriver, make sure it's flush right where you want it, put your finger right here so it's flush right there. Now it's going to have four on each side, you don't have to put all four because they don't give you eight, they only give you four. So you could just put one here and I'm going to put one down here. Okay, now I'll grab the other two, flip this puppy around, we'll put one up here, one down here all right so now just push this back in remember we have to push it out a little bit and now you'll see there's only one way you can plug it in this side is rounded off, this side is rounded off, this side isn't. So really easy. That might be in your way, just push it down a little tiny bit. Now you don't need to put this down, you don't need to screw it in. But if you want to, you can. If you have multiple drives, you don't like just one, of course you can buy two, but if you don't have money, you can buy one and you can just easily swap them. A cool trick is if you have external hard drives, you can also use it too. You know, you can just leave it as a bare. This is the way I used to use mine. I don't know what happened to my old one. But if you want to use it bare, just take out the DVD drive or the Blu-ray drive, whatever you want to use. And the same way you saw me connect it, just connect the hard drive. Alright, so there you go. Alright, and let me just plug it in for you real quick. I'm going to use my Dell XPS 13 inch. Just turn it on real quick. Alright, and I'll plug 
plug in my USB cable. Oh, that's nice. It's a USB A to A cable. Very nice. Is it on? Nope, it's not on. Turn it on. You're going to see it'll start picking it up right over here. Alright, well, while that does its thing, I'm just going to pop in Mirror's Edge. My buddy Jason P gave it to me a few years ago from NV. I don't know what that disc is. Alright, you can see here it detected a disc. Move it aside so you can see it. Ah, oh, it's music. So anyway, I just wanted to show you real quick how that worked. And you can see right over here, it's on, telling you that it's on, and you can see that it's reading. Anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Logger. I just wanted to show you how the Vantec Nexstar DX Super Speed USB 3.0 worked. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.